launching um, a group of um, online courses um, to help people um, tackle the, um, uh, the, the kind of their lack of skills in this area. And indeed, um, we launched them about two months ago, um, found significant take up and that they're willing to pay for them, which was interesting because a lot of free educational material out there. Um, we discovered that the completion rates are fairly low as yet, so they've only had a couple of months, but it's interesting. Um, some of us are wondering whether it almost is tantamount to gym membership. This, by the way, is the list of courses that we launched. So introduction to Python for social scientists, interactive data visualization with R, etc. And it is striking to see how the appetite is there, but the follow through, and we're, gonna, and we're using this as a process of learning, and we're gonna launch, relaunch these courses and then another four on top, and do throughout the year um, a really major tackling of this skills gap issue. Um, with everyone who's taken the course becoming then an advisor for us and a source of feedback, which we then use to, to revise and refine those courses. But you'll notice on the question of relationships, how every course has a partner from the Royal Statistical Society, indeed to include um, Nick Adams' own um, D-Lab at Berkeley. And that's where I mentioned sort of adjacent relationships. We've long had relationships with people in, in academia of different kinds, but this is the institutional level where, are the, where we actually have these sponsors. And that's an important way of configuring our relationship to um, solving problems that fall outside of something which just is met by a core solution. Um, now, relationships and the adjacent mode are fairly easy to do, but when you're looking at relationships in the more transformational mode, um, we decided to look further afield. And here um, you can see a picture of Tim O'Reilly, who um, uh, is well known probably to everyone in the room as the person who ran O'Reilly Media, credited with coming up with the term Web 2.0 and much else, sort of Silicon Valley guru, but whose superpower, if any, is about managing relationships between people who have common interests but don't normally um, spend time overlapping each other. So he's got a particular gift for this. He's been doing it through his conferences in so many ways, um, but perhaps most significantly um, in this way, which is um, Saifu Camp, which is something he's been running for about 15 years with nature, um, also digital science alongside that, um, and Google, who host it annually. And um, Saifu has become sort of well-known as, a, as a, a space to engender conversations which lead to rich collaborations. People who wouldn't necessarily meet each other in their common walk of life, um, but are able to, um, through, um, through the, the kind of good offices of being pulled together by Google, who've got the sort of pulling power to get people to fly in for it, um, do what O'Reilly calls adding synapses to the global brain. He likes to do it in the awed tones, um, the, the cool and, and extraordinary tones that you tend to hear in the Silicon Valley world. So, um, as is often the spirit of, a, uh, of, of uh, innovation in publishing, if you see a good idea, nick it. Um, we've decided to